One of the things that sets JRF Ortho apart is our specialization. We are solely focused on sports medicine allografts. We provide over 60% of all osteochondral allografts in the world. Patients are impacted every day by cartilage damage. We give the surgeons tools and, and tissue to transplant and replace those cartilage damaged areas. College sports really shaped my life. And at some point during my sophomore year, I had a knee injury. My first exposure to JRF Ortho was as a patient. I started medical school on crutches and was kind of that person who everyone had to wait for and, and really learned what it's like to be a patient. So when I had that first transplant, it was a meniscus transplant back in 2006. Surgery went great. Got back to running and cycling and swimming and did triathlon for the first time. But throughout that whole process, I was learning how to become an orthopedic surgeon. JRF Ortho, this is Chelsea. My job basically starts when the surgeons and the reps get in contact with me. What facility is this going to? They have a patient who has an injury. I'll go ahead and put together an offer letter. Once a graph becomes available, we have coordinators who look at all of the patients on the list and they match it to the patient with the closest measurements or who's been on the list the longest. Do you know if that doctor has used cores from us before? A lot of communication goes back and forth with the surgeons and the surgical facilities because the grafts have to be implanted within 28 days of the donor's death. Once we find a match, we'll go ahead and send an offer out. So a lot of things happen very, very quickly in order to, to facilitate these 6,000 transplants a year. Patients, they rely on their surgeons to give them the best treatment that they possibly can. And so then our surgeons then in turn rely on us to give the best allografts and solutions that we possibly can. The most common area is the femoral condyle, either medial or lateral. When I need to order a cartilage graft, it's a seamless, flawless, easy process. This is beautiful, healthy, pink cartilage. And for me, that takes a step that could otherwise be very difficult, figuring out what size, where should it come from, what's the availability, and we're placing that right where we think that we should take our graft from. Can I trust the cleansing process? Can I trust that this is gonna be a good tissue to get to my patients? And then we match up this guide to that exact same area. If there's so many things to stress about and worry about, those are not them. And so the relationship from a surgeon to company side is phenomenal. I've come to see that they're really miracle workers. One of the things that, is, that has come to our attention over the last few years are hill sacs defects, bony and cartilage defects of the humeral head that are generally in, a, in an orange wedge shape. Through our research, we've realized that the talus exactly matches the curvature of the humeral head about 90% of the time. And so since we have many talus that are available, those can be utilized to, to resurface the humeral head. And so really making a direct impact in a specific patient's life. I take pride in what I do in the fact that I'm these donors' representatives, I'm their family's representatives, I'm the patient representative. We got to go to the Rose Bowl with Ellie, and she's a recipient. She got a graft put in her knee. It was crazy for me because I had a background of working on the donor side of things with the tissue banks, spending time with the recipient, hearing her story on how she couldn't walk. There was tears all over the place. So it was, it was definitely a cool experience. They're truly passionate about helping patients. And so we have a reputation as being the leader, which is a great thing. And they're here, every single one of them dedicated to making the most of what's a tragic situation for many families and turning that into a silver lining for another family. My knee is my life, and I wouldn't be here without the gift that I've gotten from my donors. And JRF helps me get that gift to other patients as well.